Miles Crane here with Tick Jams for Dudes. Hmm. Today I'm going to be doing a Let's Jam of XCOM Enemy Unknown. Now I played the demo, um, which was, uh, <laughs> it's like someone showing you a picture of a roller coaster and being like, isn't that fun? You're like, get out of my fucking butthole. So we're gonna play classic. Enable Iron Man. Iron Man game, you cannot reload earlier saves, adding a significant level of challenge to the experience. Iron Man mode is only recommended for experienced players. I am not experienced, so this is gonna be good. Um play with a single save that is updated automatically as you progress through the game in an Iron Man game your choices are or your choices and their consequences are permanent we don't need a fucking tutorial let's do it from Clark Howard there. Oh, and that's a bullshit, you guys. I have uh, done one run through of this game on impossible mode where I got to the first level and died a couple of times. Or it does seem casual, but... So this is a squad-based, third-person shooter. Uh, kind of like Gears of War needs Call of Duty. Well, there's going to be a lot of action, a lot of running and gunning. Hello, Hi. Commander. In light of the recent extraterrestrial incursion, this Council of Nations has convened to approve the activation of the XCOM project. You have been chosen to lead this initiative. Or judgment. To oversee our first and last line of defense. I am not qualified. Your efforts will all. have considerable influence on this planet's future. We urge you to keep that in mind as you proceed. Good luck, Commander. I think I need you to give me good luck. Right. So pretty cool intro. Um, identify base location. Not even gonna read anything. North America. Duh. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Ugh. Let's fucking do it. Sweep the abduction site, identify threats, neutralize all hostile targets. Easy enough. Oh, by the way, the graphics are shit because I'm playing on a laptop. My desktop video card pooped itself and I'm waiting for it to get RMA'd. Wait, RM. Yeah, RMA. They're shipping Strike it. one. This is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. How do I get third person? So we've been duped. Um, I guess it's a turn-based strategy game? Hmm. No, I played the uh, I played the demo guys. Shit's jokes. 
guy to dash over here. Apparently cover is super important. Whatever that means. Can you make it over here? Yeah. So I think you start out the Alien game. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Getting spooked. Let's move our uh, let's move our bros up. Check the situation out. Pretty good position. X-ray on the move. They're flanking us. Guys, this doesn't look good. to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about right now. Fuck. I think, uh, these guys are fucking clustered right now. A grenade would be pretty rad. So... If you've read reviews or seen anything else about this game, it does kind of blow in that, apparently... Sorry, I'm being a fucking retard right now. You can't just aim at a wall or wherever you want unless you want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. Mom, I'm on the phone. This guy is gonna. <laughs> this guy's fucked. Let's see if we can set him up to take pot shots or something. Oh, I don't like when it's their turn. I need to look up what this mine thing is doing. Oh, he's going around the car. He's going to be No, no, no. these aliens shooting through walls. See, why can they aim at a wall? And we know. There's heavy fire in this zone. Fire in the hole. <laughs> why did I pick Iron Man mode in classic? I'm dumb. Not standing in front of anything right now. Oh. I gotta, I gotta plan, guys. 
calm down. I know you're freaking out. You're going, what's he gonna do? Hold your shit. Wait, what is this? Okay. So they're still praying. Praying. They're still praying, guys. They're still staying pretty close together. I'm hoping maybe I can wipe out both these bros if I toss a little grenade into here. Going out. That's a little. Bit of a oh fuck you guys! You guys, we might live. Figure out. It's intense, guys. I'm thinking if we can get. Yeah, that's still in the blue, so if we can get behind this cover. Maybe we got enough. In. I'm willing. Not a moment. Yeah, I'm willing to risk her life for this, guys. So we're gonna move her up here. Oh, really? Shit. I'm gonna put her as Overwatch then. Oh boy. This guy. Can I just send him back to the ship? Is that an option? Alright, let's just hide him. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna have him sneak around the corner just in case of more aliens. That would be a nightmare. Let's check out this one. Guys. Why? Ah. Hoorah! Good work out there. Oh, and I didn't lose anything. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching oh. the newly recovered artifacts immediately. Guys, that was tense, but I think we did a good job. Zero losses, six kills. Ratings is just telling me excellent twice, so. NBD, no big deal. Alright, now we get over to the base management aspect of this game. Let's check it out. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. I'm Central Officer Bradford. My role in this project is twofold. Providing tactical support for our field operations and keeping you briefed on the current oh. situation. My efforts should allow you to focus on the bigger issues at hand. Speaking of which, we have a soldier waiting for a promotion in the barracks. I'll let you get to it. Check out that base. Oh, gravely wounded. <laughs> and you get no promotion. Bitch. All right, Oliver Harris was pretty rad. He's still active. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. So we got lots of options to play with here. We got run and gun. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Gnome Perez. Gravely wounded. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Whip. Cool, a lot of options here. Oh, I, okay, they're just saying, hey, now you have a soldier that's assigned a role. I got it. Not really a promotion, but whatever. Commander oh, to the research shit. labs. Commander to the research labs. Jill. Oh, she lived, that's right. Cool. Our snipers specialize in dealing massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Ooh. Cool beans. And Tarek, you're coming. The recovered artifacts are being unloaded, and the research team is waiting your orders. We'll get started as soon as you give the order, Commander. Huh. Let's check out. Whoa. 